Ryan Kerrigan. How you doing today, man? I'm great, Gabe. How you doing? I'm good. The 19th episode of Redskins Park Drive. Xfinity is now a partner, so it's Redskins Park Drive sponsored by Xfinity. You excited to go around the park? Heck yes. We're glad to be a part of the first Xfinity <laughs> one. Yeah. Nice, man. Well, I guess, you know, we, we kind of got to state the obvious. Not the perfect place to be in. Right. But, I mean, it's one of the reasons why we're taking a drive around the park. We got to clear our heads a little bit. But, but for you, what, what, what's your outlook on the season thus far? I mean, obviously, like you said, not where we want to be. One and nine, one and nine is, uh, let's just say it's less than ideal. We yeah. want to put it kindly. Um, but, I mean, we still got six games to play. I know I'm, I mean, I'm not quitting. I mean, I sign up for 16 of these things every right. year and hopefully more. I mean, we got six more games and I'm going to, you know, play my tail off in the rest of the season. There's a number that's lingering out there. We talked about it at the beginning of the season. I think it was like number seven. I think right now it's two and a half, right? I think we're, we're getting close. Two yeah. and a half sacks before you become the all-time sacks leader in Redskins history. Describe that. I mean, like I, I, it's something I try not to think too much about. I mean, I, I get asked about it quite a bit. I mean, as you can see right now on this ride, but uh, uh, I, I, I just try to go out there and play and, and, and just make plays. I mean, if I if, if that is, is to come, then I, which I certainly plan on it happening, uh, you know, that, that'd be an awesome thing. I mean, I know Dexter Manley's a, a big name and a big uh, big member of this uh, this franchise's history, so it would be an honor. You became a father this whole season, and I feel like for you, being a father is in full swing now. I mean, you come in, like, you just feel more energetic. Describe that feeling now, being a father. It's amazing. I mean, it's uh, it's everything you could ever hope for. I mean, my, my daughter is just, uh, she's, just, she's amazing. She's so happy, she's so smiley. She uh, got a, she's about eight month, eight nine months old now. So she's starting to get a bit of a personality, and yeah. she's just a joy to be around. How she helped you as a person? I think she just provides a lot of perspective. I remember you know the Cowboys game specifically earlier this year. I was pretty bummed mm -hmm. after the game, bummed with our our performance. I come out to the parking lot, and she's waiting for me. She's get with a smile and uh -huh. you know and a hug, and I was like, okay, like all's right in the world. Well, for you now that you're you're nine. Uh -huh. When you look back, if you had to tell your rookie self anything, what would you tell them? Or would you do anything different from, from what you're doing now? Would that process change? I would just tell myself to enjoy it, enjoy every moment uh -huh. as much as you can. And that's not to say I haven't enjoyed things as much as I should, but you know, just you start to realize as you get older how special this job is. Yeah. I mean, because I mean, how many people get to get to play professional football for a living? Mm -hmm. And I mean, I just would tell myself just to really try to soak up every moment, soak up all the good, you know, use the use the bad moments to you know to fuel you further, and, right. and just really appreciate that that you get to do something that, that a lot of people dream to do. If you could play any other professional sport, what would it be? Oof. Um. I'm from Indiana. Basketball would be, <laughs> would be awesome. I'm not. I mean, I, I'm not very good. I never was very good. So, but so you have a jump shot in it? Oh no, I was terrible. I was just a. I was just an athlete out there. I'd block shots, dunks, rebounds. That was all I was good for. I had no skill. Who would be the Ryan Kerrigan of basketball in the NBA right now? Oh god, I know that's a tough question. Yeah, that is. A t that's a very good question. I don't think there is one because if they they wouldn't be playing pro basketball if there was a Ryan Kerrigan because they would have no no skills. <laughs> when when you were setting goals for yourself as a kid. Did you think it would be like this? No, you never, I mean, I, I remember in high school, specifically, like towards the end of my senior year, they did like a little, the superlatives, like, oh, most likely to be a professional athlete, and you know, Ryan Kerrigan, and I'm like thinking, no, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever, and, because I mean, I'm yeah, I'm going to Purdue, but cool, we'll see how that works right. out. Like, I'd never really had the aspirations until I got to college, and right. then, you know, after my sophomore year, I started seeing some of the guys ahead of me at Purdue going pro, and I'm like, hell, if they can do it, why can't I do it? Right. And so it wasn't really until then that I started like thinking this pro thing could be a, be a possibility. And mm -hmm. then, you know, as my pro, pro careers, you know, transpired, it's, yeah. uh, it's been a dream, man. I mean, I've honestly like to be with one team for nine years to, yeah. when I do think back on, um, on that, it's, it's really special. You say that, and a lot of people say when they think of the Washington Redskins, you're the first person that comes to mind. Like you've been like the model citizen of the Washington Redskins. What does this organization mean to you? I mean, that means a lot to me when, you know, when people, when people say that. I, uh, you know, I take a lot of pride in playing here. I know that how much this, this uh, franchise means to the community, and I take great pride in that. Lastly, got six games left. Mm -hmm. Chance to leave it all out on the line. So for you, what's the locker room message going forward? It's like, hey, we're we're professionals. We're uh, we're not not where we want to be. Win, wins and loss, but you know, what are you going to do now? You know, this is uh, this is it's easy to 
come into the building when you're when you're nine if you're nine and one and right. you, know, you know things are going great but you know things aren't going great right now how are you going to respond you know yeah this is a be a gut check for all of us